magic. All right, welcome back to Drinking It In. We are here to help you know more and drink better, and this is part three, the conclusion of our Amaro Masterclass, and we are ending with the big boys. Uh, Braulio and Frenette Branca. So first, uh, first two episodes, we covered Italian Amaro that was uh, easy to drink. We covered uh, American Amaro. Uh, again, easy to drink, but just totally different classification. Now we're getting into um, two of the, uh, let's say, most bracing styles of Amaro. So Alpine and, uh, and just, and Frenet. Uh, sort of its its own uh, it's its own animal and you can't just start here so like unless you really like mint unless you really like things that are medicinal you cannot start your mar journey here it, I'd be surprised if it um, if it was successful it's sort of like if people are familiar with the, with the world of scotch if you start your scotch world, your, your scotch journey with Isla scotches that, ha that are loaded with peat smokiness, you're probably not going to be that successful. You got to start a little, you know, on the other end of the spectrum, you know, to start with the friendlier stuff and then ultimately work your way into this. Because, I mean, these things, as, as um, strong as they are, they are just sometimes some of the most enjoyable drinks you can have. So, um... Let's let's just get into it. So this Braulio Amaro, it's Amaro Alpino, right? So it's Alpine. This is from Valtellina, which is up in the uh, in the Piedmont uh, area of Italy, right? We've seen uh, some Valtellina wines. I don't know that I've done it on the channel, but Valtellina has some wines, uh, you know, that are Nebbiolo based that really uh, compete with a lot of uh, a lot of the more expensive Nebbiolos that are out there. So. I've had this uh, once before at a uh, at a restaurant in Pittsburgh. That's funny. I have a Pittsburgh story for this one too. Interesting. So um, I guess when I'm in Pittsburgh, I like to uh, you know drink Alpine and strong Amaro, Amari. So on the nose, this is not as um, fragrant and. Uh, sharp as I had uh, as I had remembered you smell the al the alpine herbs you smell the rosemary you smell some of the um, you know the forest the pine um, but there's also I'm getting an essence of honey okay okay before I taste this what are we talking about from an alcohol perspective I should have done this beforehand. 21% alcohol. So again, 42 proof, not massive, but um, certainly bigger than, um, than some of the others we've had. And then this guy is 39% alcohol per volume. So this is 80 proof, so that's a, that's a big boy. Um, these are, again, two of the heaviest uh, from an alcohol percent, uh, percentage. And I think that's that does makes sense in that they're, again, they are stronger drinks. Mm -hmm. Okay, so loads of mint, right? Loads of mint in here. Um, I got a little bit of a, you know, almost clears your nose up. It's really easy to drink though, man. I'll tell you, like it's not, um, it's almost more, there's a good balance of sweetness and bitterness here, but it it tilts ever so slightly onto a, to the sugary side of things, um, which does balance off nicely with, um, with the minty herbal notes or the herbal nature of this. Um, I recall this being much stronger I'm actually pleasantly surprised that this is, um, while it is minty, if you like mint, you're good. If you don't like mint, do not go after the Braulio. Uh, 
Boy, it's good though. It really is. Hmm. You know, when you if you think back to some or the purpose of some of these Amara of the Amari, right? Um, a lot of this was, you know, developed over you know, eight, you know the last several hundred years, right? As medicinal in nature, uh, there was some belief around that. And with these two in particular, you can kind of see where the, that that, um, that angle um, kind of comes through. Uh, we'll get into this one, but you know this this guy, you know, it's gonna be mentholy and frankly smells like you know, some cough syrup. Um, a lot of the the other amaros that we've tasted are the other amaros that are much more suitable for you know easy drinking and uh, you know mixing in cocktails, having on you know neat or on the rocks. Um, are you know are more now, not that they've been adapted to the modern palate, but they're much more um, I'm going to say easier for people to understand and will serve a wider part of the uh, part of the population. So now we're getting into the piece de resistance, the final Fernet Branca. Um, this is they've been making this in uh, I want to say I thought it was around Milan. These are things that I should be uh, fig Ian Milano. Okay, yeah, I was right. So for Net Branca, it sort of has like this cult following. Um, you know, it's it was it's one of those things that's known as a bartender's handshake. Like if you're um, you know bartender to bartender, you know, there's there's a lot of of that from um you know within that community, if you will. Um, also in Argentina. Apparently, they drink more Fernet Branca than any country in the world. And they just, you know, they drink it with, um, it's Fernet Branca and Coke with some ice. And they just drink it like it's going out of style. Who would have thought? So, this guy is, and I mean, you immediately, you know, you know Fernet Branca has, has walked in the room. Because um, you don't really, I don't need to get up close really to, to, to smell it. Um, I am just for you guys for the purpose of you know sake of science and, and entertainment but be careful you don't inhale too <coughs> too quickly on this one because it's gonna go right up your nose and you know and it'll make your eyes tear a little bit mint menthol eucalyptus just freaking power like if I bet you koala bears would love this Minty menthol eucalyptus. It's strong. Okay, so remember with the brawly, we said you got a little bit of that. You know, goes up your nose, warms you up a little, clears your sinuses out. This one does the same. It's um, it's more mentholy when you drink it. Um, it is, you feel it going down your throat, right? You feel it in your chest. Um, but, you know, I mean, obviously, if you like that sensation, like, you're going to love this, right? Or you're going to really, you'll be into it. Um, it's an acquired taste. It's not for everybody, but it is, um, it is fantastic. And it is also, I believe, I don't want to say it's a medicine, but if you are out, and hypothetically, you're out in Pittsburgh with eight colleagues and you've bar hopped all night. You've had too, too much to drink. You know you have. You know you're going to wake up the next day and not be happy about it. Have a serving of Fernet Branca and you might wake up the next day feeling brand new. It's like freaking magic. So, like I was saying, I was in Pittsburgh, six to eight guys, you know, we were just bar hopping all night and it was late. We were at this place, one of my favorite restaurants in the country, Meat and Potatoes, and they have Frenet Branca on tap. And so that, you know that, that that's serious if the bar has it on tap, but you know, we all had, you know, a, a, we all had a serving of Frenet Branca as sort of our nightcap um, and we all knew we drank a little too much. And that next day, I know personally, 
I felt great and I shouldn't have. Um, and I attribute that to Fernet and its medicinal uh, properties, at, or at least the ability to settle your stomach and hope maybe even flush out some of those, uh, some of the badness that you may have consumed earlier in the night. So that concludes our Amaro Masterclass. I hope you've enjoyed it. I know, you know, I, I, I love these beverages. I, hopefully it comes through in the video. And I think you really need to get out and explore Amaro. You know, start on the, uh, start on the friendly side, you know, especially if you like your fireball or just any sort of, uh, you know, cinnamon red hot. Um, go here. You want something easier to drink, but still bitter, right? Coffee lovers, this is great. If you happen to be in America, certainly in the Northeast, and you see this, buy Bully Boy Amaro. Um, and, you know, any of the others that we've tried, they're all, they're all good options. Um, you know, I appreciate everybody. If you've gotten this far, I really appreciate you. Um, you know, I know there are people out there who are watching but haven't subscribed. So, you know, I'd really appreciate it if you, if you would sub hit that subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me. Thanks for all the love, the likes, and um, hope you have a uh, good New Year's Eve just coming up, and I'll see you in the new year. Cheers, folks. Oh, it's magic. Make sure you hydrate.